What's going on guys? It's like a hero and I'm back. I'm going to start putting content up on the channel more regularly. I'm playing new world and a whole lot of it. I appreciate all the support with the outriders content, the destiny content. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, we're going to be really playing this game for the foreseeable future for a long time. Today's video is going to deal on one aspect of new world, and that's going to be gathering the harvesting profession. In New World, there are certain requirements that you must, the player must get to certain levels of the profession to gather certain plants. For example, level 25 lets you gather this type of plant, level 50 will let you gather this type of plant. I just quickly want to explain the reagent types. So there's 11 different reagents that you're going to be gathering. They go from medicinal reagents, which are used for like potions, things like that. There's protective reagents, which protect you from certain abilities whether it's like fire resist or void or corruption there's offensive reagents and all these things can be discovered by simply mousing over the plant the resource that you've gathered it's going to tell you the ingredient type whether it's offensive defensive is going to tell you the tier type now the tier type just is the i guess the level of the reagent that you're gathering so you might get tier one life reagents but those are going to be used to craft the lower level health pots or mana pots for example and then to grab the more powerful healing potions you might need a tier three or tier four life reagent so it's just kind of a thing to keep ahead to know what you're gathering if you're looking to make pots well you're going to be looking for those life reagents and you're going to be looking for the tier ones and as you get leveled up in your crafting right in your alchemy area then you're going to be looking for the tier four life reagents to really level up and create those more powerful potions i will be explaining a helpful tool that you can use to help you easily find any reagent type that you would be looking for so make sure to stick around for that uh, in in the video as always, guys, I haven't mentioned it yet, but if you found this video helpful, informative in any way, you like the video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, make sure to share it. And as always, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be pulling a lot of content out for New World. And as always, you can catch me streaming over on Twitch TV slash like a hero pretty much every night. Loving the game. So make sure to check out the channel over there. On screen, you could see that we have medicinal reagents and those again are for your healing. You have magical reagents, which are for mana potions. So there is a lot of different reagents. 11, like I said, just make sure that you're mousing over those reagents as you're picking them up. You're able to then identify what type they are so you'll know what they're going to be for a general idea of what it is that you're actually gathering. The next thing I want to talk about is herbs. Now, herbs are a little bit different than those other reagents we've been talking about. Herbs are unique in a sense that herbs have their primary drop and a secondary drop now in this on screen right now you're seeing me pick up some herbs and it's giving me that high sop which is always going to drop when you get any kind of herb the difference though is that it's considered a seasoning and seasonings are unique because whereas onions and mushrooms and those type of things again mousing over is very important for this we discover that onions and mushrooms are found from provisional containers. So that means those are those boxes that you, when you go to farms and you see around, you see provisional crates. Those are going to give you um, onions. Those are going to give you certain materials that you can only find that way. Herbs are different because herbs are considered, like, again, a seasoning type. And the zone that you are in will matter what type of seasoning you get from each herb plant. So. Herb plants are found across the entire map. It doesn't matter which zone you're in, there are herbs everywhere. But you can see that there's different types of seasonings. There's sage, there's garlic, there's basil. And you might be wondering, well, how do I get these? Well, it's very important to understand that herbs will change the secondary material that they drop based on the zone that you are in. So let me rephrase this again. Herbs is a plant that is found all over the map. In every single territory, you will find herbs. There are that, that bluish, purplish plant that's on the ground, very small. You gather it, it gives you high stop. But herbs also have a secondary seasoning that they drop. Now that go, could be garlic, basil. It's a whole bunch of different uh, types, right? Cinnamon, for example. 
Now, that secondary drop is unique to a territory, a zone, or a region that you're in. In Everfall, for example, herbs have a really high chance to drop garlic. You might get some other seasonings every once in a while, but mostly you're going to be getting garlic from those herbs. You head over to Cutlass, well, you might be getting cinnamon, for example, or basil in Monarch's Bluff. So keep note of that. And again, it's always super important to mouse over. If you happen to get, and this is for anything, you get a new material that you don't recognize, mouse over it quickly. It's going to tell you what reagent type it is. It's going to tell you what it's derived from. And that's going to help you keep track of that. There's still some zones I have not explored yet, but this is consistently throughout all the up to level. What am I now in game? I think I'm level 30. So something to keep in the back of your mind moving forward. The final thing I want to share is an uh, awesome website that you can use that you might not know of that you might not be using to help you really gather. And when you're trying to target farm something specific, uh, as always, as you're moving through the zones, you should be gathering anything that you're able to just to level up your professions, right? You might even spend an entire evening just farming wood, for example, or herbs harvesting to level them up. But if you check out this website, newworld-map.com, it's going to take you to this empty map of New World. And you're going to have this filter system on the left side. At first, the map might be blank. If not, just hit hide all. You're going to want to enable cities to kind of get your bearings straight and regions so you're going to be able to see kind of where the, each territory starts and ends. Once there, it's really up to you. If, you. if you're happy to be looking for herbs, check the herb filter. It's going to show all herb locations currently available. Again, this is user driven, so some stuff might not be completely accurate, but in my experience, it has been on point with herbs, with animal locations if you're killing those or so we can look at herb locations for example here on screen and if we're looking for cinnamon we're going to farm a specific area for herbs now it's not just limited to that you can set it to iron and you could see iron veins their locations and farm those as well pretty much any npc any either animal in the game any plant whatever you can look for it a lot of information here i could put hemp on there as well and see where hemp spawns in areas around me if i'm on a quest to call elk i can see where the elk spawn by enabling them kind of get a good idea and it will make your gathering your harvesting so much better so make sure you use that website as always i hope this video was helpful make sure to like the video if you like it make sure to subscribe to the channel for future content i am currently playing on kashira sagara what us west we have our marauder marauder faction going on I'm going to also leave a discord in the description. So if you have any questions, anything like that, even if you're not in the server, you can join our discord community, ask questions there. We'll do our best to help you out. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys later.